Hey guys and welcome back. So in today's video I have another dash cam review video. This one here has a front and rear 2K plus a 1080p. It supports a 4K single front dash camera. It has loop recording and it supports 256 gigabyte max of SD cards. All right, so today we got our dash cam in. This is the 2K plus 1080p front and rear dual dash camera. The front and rear dash cameras, they simultaneously captures the road from 160 degree angle with a rear of 150 in crystal details at 2K. It supports 1400p from the 1080p rear resolution, which ensures every angle is covered and nothing is missing. So this just tells you it is a 4K, it supports Wi-Fi, it has loop recording. So if you want to get the 4K Ultra HD 2160p, that is for the front camera, it is suggested to unplug the rear camera. That way you can get the full 4K Ultra. The single front dash camera captures crystal clear videos at UHD 3840 by 2160p at 30 frames per second, which is clearly captures the license plates as well as the road signs during the day and at night. It has the GC comms at 160 degree angle, wide angle, plus 6G lens. It is vividly captures during the moment. This does have a built-in 2.4 G Wi-Fi and app control. So this right here is the package's contents. It tells you how to connect it. This is delicate the camera with an app for the Android and iOS, which I'm going to show you how to download that in just a minute for all your smartphones. You can download your videos by the app itself. So included here, you get these little sticky mats that you could put on your vehicle. In this box is all the accessories, the cables, the sticky things to keep it up on your windows as well as the tool to get in between your car so you don't see the cables so just gonna ahead and jump in there so here is all the accessories you get some extra sticky tape you get a pin slot to take out your SD card unfortunately this one does not come with an SD card but it does support SD cards up to 256 gigabytes here is the tool to go around your vehicle and then this is the lighter to plug it in for the front camera this one right here is to plug in through the back camera and then this is the back camera right here this performs well in color perceptions and a clarity. It has a sensor of 1.5 big capture with wide dynamic range technology, which will achieve super night vision by automatically balancing the exposure and extreme dark scenarios, obtaining a clear videos, whether it's day or night. So here on the bottom is the dash cam itself. This is the front camera where you will put into your front part of your car. And then it does come with a sticker already attached so you can see it's just got the lens in here on the bottom it has a speaker if you make your way to the side you have your plug-in port which is a type c you have the other 3.5 millimeter jack to connect to the camera in the back and your sd port slot so in here is the display now this thing here at the top it does rotate so you can move it up and down to your liking on your windshield it's a little bit hard but you can see below that is another speaker. So this just rotates up and down. So you can change the angle of the camera. And then you've got your Type-C charging port. You've got your port for the back camera and your SD card. So like right here is all your ports. So now this one right here is your backup camera. This will just plug in here. It's a little tiny looks like a little 3.5 millimeter jack and it just plugs right into there just like this and it'll start working so now if you want to only use the front camera to get the full 4k UHD it is recommended not connecting the back camera or they will run off the 1080p so here is the lighter connector that goes into the front dash camera this supports SD cards up to 256 which requires a micro SD card the Samsung micro SD card is not included it is recommended to get a class 10 or anything above 
So now I'm going to connect this to a power bank to turn it on. So this just connects to a regular power bank and I'm using this for the back of my car. We're going to go ahead and it basically just has the timer in the front. So to set the settings, you'll need to go into the application, which can be in the Play Store as well as the Apple Store. So now I'm going to remove this. I'm going to put in an SD card that I have. It does not come with it. This one's just to get some videos captured. And I'm using my finger, but they do come with a, a pin thing, so you can push it in there. And now it's going to ask to format the SD card. So in order to format the SD card, you're going to have to download their app because everything is done and through the app. So now I got my phone. I'm going to search in for the app. The app is called Pezteo, P-E-Z-T-I-O. So we're just going to input that right here. Click on search. And it's this one right here at the top that looks like a little camera. You click on install. So now it's going to connect it using a Wi-Fi. And in the Wi-Fi, it'll tell you everything that you need to connect. So depending on your model, um, it says you want to connect the camera. This is the G4. You click on connect the camera. So when it says it wants to connect to the camera, it'll say the Wi-Fi name is P-E-Z-T-I-O. And then you just connect to that. And then once you connect that back out of the screen, go back in here. And now it's going to show you the video once it starts to connect. You may get a little orange button right here that says you need to format it. So in order to format it, you'll have to go in the settings, which is on the bottom of the app right here. You can see these buttons right here. You have the option to press record or take a picture. So in here, these are uh, different settings. You can set the quality of the camera, how long you want the camera on, the dashboard itself. So right here, it says you're going to format it. So in order to format, it, it's going to erase everything that is on the card. So we're going to go ahead and let that format. You can see that it sets the time. It says 1658, which is basically 458. And now it's capturing some videos just for demonstration purposes. And then I will make my way into my car to capture some front view as well as the back view while I'm driving. So you can see it's super clear. If you want to pause it, all you got to do is click on the video icon. It will pause it. If you want to take a picture, click on the camera and it'll capture a picture. So everything that you want to do on this dash cam has to be through the application. So now let's make our way to my car. So right here, I'm just going to drive around town so you can see the front and the back view of this camera. It is super clear, it looks really nice. I had to sync them with each other. So there might be a little lag between the front and the back because they are two different video files. I tried my best to get them on sync. So you can see I'm stopped here and then I'm about to move. And then while my front camera is showing me moving, the back camera might be just a tad bit off sync. So I'm just going to go ahead and let you watch how crystal clear this is. This is about 5.36 p.m. And it is really nice and lit it outside. So the lines that you see in the back camera, that is because I have my signal from my radio that is on my back window. So those are what those are lines are from. So you can see the front camera kind of turning where the back one is kind of lagging a bit. It's not that... They didn't work in sync. It's just trying to put the two cameras in together to make this video. So I'm going to let you watch a little bit of this video.
So you can see how crystal clear this dash cam is and the fact that you get the option to record for the front and the back is a super plus. If you're looking for a nice dash cam that does for the front and the back that does not take a bunch of space in your car, I would highly recommend checking this one out. I love this one and I'm so glad that I got this one.